Part three, American tourists. So I know in part two, I talked about American tourists. Like, briefly, I mentioned, like, how someone was like, Merci, Coke Zero, hot dog. Like, okay, dude, we know you're American now, you're probably gonna get robbed. But literally, American tourists upset me. Like, it's like they didn't know, it's like they didn't even try. Like, this per person was wearing, like, USA, NYC. Like, are you trying to look like you're an American tourist? There are fucking gypsies everywhere. Like, there are these people trying to sell things, like, everywhere. We went to the Eiffel Tower, people selling things, like, keychains. Like, this kid in our group, Sam, he, he literally bought a thing from a gypsy, even though we had just been told not to buy something from a gypsy. Like, literally, we, were, we had been told, avoid the gypsies at all costs. Don't look at them, don't acknowledge them. And they came by, they're like, one, ten for two euros. And he's like, yes! And we're like, no, Sam, what are you doing? We laughed at him for like ten minutes. And we, we're never going to let him forget that. Never. You don't, you don't, you don't buy things from them. And then we went to this, like, church later on, and there are so many of them. It was like, we we're I was holding on to my wallet the whole time. Um, this came, this guy approached um, Chase, and he like literally put his hand out. Um, there were people with strings, and this one guy put his hand out, he's like, hey dude! And we're like, nope, 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 we're not dealing with him. Um, there are a lot of people that uh, were like, homeless and a lot of beggars but the difference between the beggars here and the beggars in France is the beggars in France have expensive clothes on and have bottles of wine which makes me think are they really homeless or do they really not have money but um yeah there are a lot of beggars and there's this one guy who couldn't walk and we had just walked like 500 steps up to the church and this guy couldn't walk and he was at the top so he was like trying to get some money, and we're like, dude, you didn't think this through, if you're trying to not, if you're trying to look like you're a cripple, how the fuck did you get up those 500 steps? <laughs> well, it wasn't 500 steps, it was like, maybe like 15, but still. We went to like St. Um, Michel, um, the, the Mont St. Michel, um, where it was like 400 steps to the top, and that was really long. Um, and tiring, but, you know, it was worth it. That was cool. There are a lot of American tours there. There were people, I never thought I'd see this, but someone literally took their iPad with them to the top and was taking pictures. Like, okay, American tours taking pictures is so dumb. Oh my god. Like, I was literally in pain watching them do this. Like, they literally... Why is it that American tourists try to act nonchalant about taking pictures? Like, they'll be like... And then, like, the person trying to take the picture takes so long to take the picture, so they're literally like this for, like, ten minutes, trying to stay in that position, so they're, like, moving, like, like a little bit, and it looks so fucking weird. Like, there are people that go like this, that are taking the picture like that, they're like... It's just like, are you trying to, like, act natural? Because when you're taking a picture like that, that's not natural. It's supposed to be, like, in the moment. Just, just take a picture normal. Come on. Don't make it... So weird. Don't make a pose. That's what that's the difference between American tourists and regular people. Like there are some there are some people, not to be racist, but they're mostly Asian. I'm being stereotype typical the next. I'm being stereotypical and racist, but mostly Asian people were taking pictures of stores. Like not even them in front of the store. They they're taking a picture of Hugo Boss. Like, no, what are you doing? Ah, uh, tourists are so weird. I mean, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm being awful because I was an American tourist, but at least I spoke French the whole time and I didn't take so many pictures and I didn't take pictures where I was like, like doing some weird stance. Like, come on, guys. That just annoyed me so much. Like, that, that, um, that was annoying. Oh, and another thing that was annoying. France, they smoke like hell. Like, you can smoke wherever you want, so everybody's just smoking everywhere. And it's like, they're so natural about it. Like, literally, they don't care if they're smoking right in your face. Like, they're... Like, ah! Uh, I'm gonna get lung cancer now. Like, no, not even funny. I'm getting lung cancer from for being in Paris for eight weeks. Or, no, eight days. I'm gonna get lung cancer now.
just because of that. Just because of freaking people smoking. Like, smell that French fresh air. It just smells like secondhand smoke. Like, the whole time. Um, also, people in France drive like hell. They, they, I guess you can call them good drivers, just not safe. Or you, you can call them safe drivers, but not good. Because literally, they drive like they're... Like, there's no tomorrow, but yet there are barely any accidents. Like, they go through red lights, they go through stop signs, they don't stop when you're crossing the road, but still, there are barely any accidents. So either they're really safe while driving, like, they're not safe while driving really well, or they're, they're really safe, but don't drive good. But, it's just, ugh. Oh, um, let's see, what else was I going to say? There was one more thing I wanted to say. Uh, secondhand smoke, uh, uh, um, uh oh. People are okay with nudity, and people are okay with people dressing in dick costumes. Like, there's someone who was dressed as a penis walking down the street, um, and also I got on the subway, and this woman had a background photo of her naked. Like, she's a model naked as her background photo. And I was just like, oh. But, um, yeah, no, France is, France is amazing, but... American tourists suck. Their driving is weird. And, yeah, secondhand smoke is a problem. But, um, other than that, no, it was cool. It was fun. It was chill. Um, we had a lot of fun. A lot of cool stuff happened. Uh, I didn't get anything. But, you know, it's the thought that counts. Moving on to whatever I want to talk about next. I think I want to talk about blah, blah, blah.